Have you ever heard the expression, if you love something, let it go and it'll come back to you? That's pretty much what treating was for me. Well, when I first got started and I made every single mistake that you could make and I blew up this account and that account and that account, I didn't know at the time that trading was going to be my thing. I actually thought that I was like, you know what, screw this. I am done with trading. I want absolutely nothing to do with it ever again. But what happened was I said that X amount of time passed and then it started to come back into my life somehow. I either heard something on the radio or a friend mentioned something to me about trading and I still had that uh, that that desire, that, that, that knowledge that like you could put something in and see dramatic profits coming out of it and that you could build an entire business around it. And so I wanted to, to believe, I wanted to find a way to make it happen even after going through the blobs and not wanting to touch it again, it just the fact that life kept on bringing it back to me, I kept on giving it another shot and giving it another shot and giving it another shot. And then eventually, thankfully, I found something that finally stuck, right? And the thing that actually stuck was what, what I learned in this book right here, the, this is one of my favorite trading books, How to Make Money in Stocks by William O'Neill. If you haven't read it already, fantastic book. Highly recommend it, especially if we're dealing with the kind of market that we're in right now. Highly effective. And the reason why is because it teaches you how to find some of the best winning trades in history. Really, like you, you go through the book and the first hundred or so pages are all model stocks that have gone up 500, 1000% or more. And the thing that you start to realize, well, when you're flipping through this book is that, you know, whether we're looking at 2015, 2016 or 1980 or 1880, the chart patterns are the same. So that was the first book that started to make sense to me and I started to put all the different pieces together and then then after finally trading started to make sense I had people other people start to come into my life and it, it's kind of like this this other quote that I remember now that when the student is ready the teacher will appear and so there were many times in the early going, I, I thought that I liked trading, but I wasn't quite ready to learn it. I was just interested in the gains. And so the teachers never really appeared like trading came back, but I didn't, I didn't get the momentum, right? Like I didn't really learn what to do, how to do it. But then later on, and, and this is like 10 years in, that uh, a colleague recommended that book. And then I, I started to find meetup groups uh, about trading and I found the New York City Investors Business Daily meetup group for which I'm, I'm still currently a leader of now. Uh, when the, the student is ready, the, the teacher will appear. The teachers appear there. I started learning from them. I started getting the, this community around me to, to help me learn how to trade. And that's when my uh, equity curve was, instead of going like this, started to flatten out and start to, to move up and move up consistently, not in a straight line, right? But yeah, you know what I mean? Having people around you that uh, are willing to help you, starting to adopt the right mindsets and you could get that even if you you're in a quarantined environment right now like don't think that oh man like i'm screwed like this we're so connected right now you're able to watch this you're able to go to webinars see this youtube channel other youtube channels go on uh, twitter stock twits instagram tiktok like all these different places and and learn so the opportunity is there. You could build a virtual community. It's more a matter of what 
what you're putting into your mind and being mindful of what you're putting into your mind versus just trying to make a quick buck. And I realize now that this was a very long-winded answer, but I hope it gets the point across. The idea isn't that it, you know, you, you're just going to fall into trading and you're, you're going to be the, this big success overnight. If you really do love it and you are open to learning and potentially challenging a lot of your prior beliefs, having to relearn other things and you approach it with an open mind, the teacher will appear. Thank <laughs> you.